from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the New York Mets. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go and taking the ball for the Mets, Adrian Hauser. Well, one thing for me that's a little alarming is that this guy is walking more than he's striking out. And when you've got traffic on the base paths, one mistake can put your team behind the eight ball early in a ball game. So we'll see today if somehow he's able to reverse that trend, fill up the strike zone, get some soft contact, and perhaps move through this ball game without too much damage. Nico Horner stands in now and watches strike one. And that's outside. And the count even one and one. In the air, foul off first. Alonso drifts towards it, corrals it. One down. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers. So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some nope, balls that fly round. a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. Took the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. In half, up to hit. That one's in there, 0 and 1. the middle McNeil tosses to first and the Cubs go one two three three up three down for the Cubs now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time no score you're dialed into the show back here at City Field and today's starter Ben Brown and Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Brandon Nimmo stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Up and in, and the count is one and one. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. This one in the air. Swanson settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. Here's a Mets lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, base is empty. 
Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. I got one ball, one strike. And that one sliced foul. The wide, the kick, and the one two. The shortstop takes a ball. That one down the line, and it's through for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and that's a double. And if you're the pitcher, you can't be frustrated. You know this is going to be the toughest batter that you face tonight, and you're going to have to face him a couple of times. So you just tip your cap and hope that you can get the next guy out. Here's Pete Alonso. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Lidor back in there. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. And he grounds one back up the middle. Horner over to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here is J.D. Martinez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And ball one. Lindor on third with two out. Swing and a miss. Well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Curveball drops in there. Pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Go! He flexes his power with that swing, and now they're out in front. It's 2-0. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So two down. Now it's DJ Stewart. Inside almost got him. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. And that extends the inning. That is hit. And now here's Jack McNeil. That misses. And that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. Left-hand batter waits. Nope. Just missed. Two outs. Line to left. Makes the grab. That is the inning. 
Mets had two runs on this blast. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Queens, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Christopher Morell. Hauser back to work. And a foul ball. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Whoa, our man, Daryl Parker, DP at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Just misses with that one. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. And another ball. Here's the 2-2. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Alonso makes the grab one down. Michael Bush digs in now. Well struck right field. That one's carrying. And out of here. His seventh home run of the season. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Dansby Swanson stands in. Hey. And a strike. And that one pulled foul. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Popped up right side. Alonso settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Matt Mervis, the next Cub to hit. That Great. one's in there. That's strike one. In the air, out towards right center. Taylor sizing this one up. Nabs it. And that is that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Bottom of the second, and stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. The pitch. That one's in there, and that's strike one. That's a little bit low. One and one. That one hit to right. It falls in, and that's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. Third baseman.
hacked off the plate that time. Next pitch is outside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Misses right off down. the play. And now three and one. Here comes a pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk, and things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Swing and a miss. And the throw out of there. Baden, the runner at second with one away. Misses inside. And it's a ball to strike. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then carry that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Back to the top of the Mets order. And now the Mets DH, Brandon Nimmo. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. At the belt and fires. That one the other way. And that's a base hit. Around third. He'll score easily. And they lead by two. Comes through with the RBI. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him. But he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it. And he hit it pretty well. Now up to hit. Francisco Lindor doubled his first time up. Brown checks there. over to first, and he's back. Swing and a foul straight back. And that's outside. Ball that low. In the dirt, and the runner holds. Next offering is in for a strike. Way high. 3-2, three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Got him looking. That ends the inning. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. On to the third inning. Here's Jan Gomes. Hauser, a 6'3 righty, 31 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2011. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. And that's downstairs and outside. The wide to kick the pitch. 
Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Next offering down low and in the dirt. The punch out there. One gone here. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Pete Crow Armstrong in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Hey. And that's in for a strike. One and one. Just one, missed. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. Left hand hitter waits. Sit down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Back to the top of the lineup. Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. Popped out and foul ground first time through. And that's a little bit high. Two outs, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. Now 2-0. Oh. Look out! And it hit him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch that grips, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. Top at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Tying run at the plate. And that one in the air center field. Taylor hustling after it. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. Cubs leave one. Score holds. It's 3-1. Welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the last of the third and stepping in for New York Pete Alonso the wind of the pitch in the dirt and that's ball one been a rough start on the mound for this guy his third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one 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 now and a foul ball The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two got it by him for the K. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Martinez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Close one, doesn't get the call. And it's 2-0. Oh. Well struck left field. Half ranging back on it. And that one is going to go. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure.
be pretty dangerous when you fall behind in the count 2 0. You've still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. The hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. So, up next, DJ Stewart. And that's nope. down and away. The 1 0. -oh. And a swing and a miss. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the last half of the third. Swings and misses, struck him out. The batter, number one. Jeff McNeil stands in. Man. 0 for 1 so far. Just missed. Went through there for a strike. Here's a 1 1. Nope, inside, ball two. And a foul ball. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Just off the inside corner, and it's three and two. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Yeah, the batter now, Tyrone Taylor. And a foul ball, third base side. Bounced out to short. Swanson on the run. Throw to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. J.D. Martinez just delivered another dinger. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at City Field as we go to the top of the fourth. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Ian Happ. And he deals. That's down and in. Kicks and fires. That one pulled foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Christopher Morell, the next cup to hit. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering is down low. Fought off foul. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. 
It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. To the right side. Nice stop to his knee, the throw, and that's a great play for the out. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Next to hit, Dansby Swanson. He popped out his first time. That one way outside, and it's one to no. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. Out of here. A two run shot. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Adrian Hauser will depart, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Sean Reed Foley comes on now. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And here's the first baseman, Matt Mervis. He's 0 for 1. High fly ball, shallow right field under it. And that's the third out. Cubs had two on this homer. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom four, and stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. The third baseman. And a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, these Mets do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game One plan ball. is working out pretty well right now. Righty to the plate. And that one is in the dirt. And it's two and two. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen yep. phone is working today. And now it's three and two. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. That gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. So up next for New York, Omar Narvaez. He's over one. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So 
So the batting order turns over. Here's Brandon Nimmo, one for two. In there, and it's on one. And that one fouled off. Baden, the lead runner at second. Narvaez at first with no outs. One ball. In the dirt, break. but kept close. Tag safe. And a wild pitch, and both runners are in scoring position. Well, Boog, it's already been a tough start to this inning as it is, and that wild pitch is going to make things even tougher. Two men in the scoring position now, still with nobody out. So this really becomes a strikeout situation on the mound. Righty delivers. Two ball. Two ball. In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. Two in scoring position, nobody out. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Next off in the way upstairs. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. So two in scoring position with one out. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. And the pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Both runners tagging. He's in on the sacrifice fly. It's 5-3. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off he'll find a hole. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Just missed. Hot shot to third. Bush whips it to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Mets five and the Cubs three. New inning getting started. Now it's Jan Gomes. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Jan Gomes waits. This to center field. Taylor moving under it. He's there. He's got it. One up, one down. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And that's outside. And that is ball one. And 
away. That one is in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the oh. end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. That one fouled off. Two and two. The Mets up by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. Bounce to the right side. Out on the off balance throw. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's Nico Horner, a former first round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. That one, a triple digits. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. Diaz is just one strike one away. Two that one well upstairs. It's a ball and two strikes. Two outs. And it skips in the dirt. Next pitch just misses. And now it's three and two. Lifted to left, and that should do it. And that is the ball game. Hauser with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long 